Testing out my kneecap. That's the desk. Why isn't this chair lowered so freaking high? I am here with a very exciting announcement. If you did not get on the internet uh, earlier this week, then you may not know, but CoverGirl is now 100% cruelty free. That is right, folks. CoverGirl is no longer being tested on animals anywhere in the world. This is the best day ever. <sighs> this gives me chills every time I say it. Um, I actually knew about this last week and I couldn't say anything and I was so, so, so excited. This means so much to the cruelty-free world because when a giant player in the game like CoverGirl decides to become cruelty-free and say no to animal testing, it's going to literally disrupt the industry. You guys, it's so exciting. Like, cover if CoverGirl's doing it, guess who's next? It's going to be Revlon and L'Oreal and all of these other brands that, um, are competing with CoverGirl. So this is serious, serious, serious news. So I encourage all of you to screenshot um, their um, Leaping Bunny certification on their website, their post, their Twitter banner is now uh, cruelty free. I just followed them on Twitter myself this afternoon and I just encourage you guys to spread the word because the more that we make this something giant and something to be super proud of, I think that they're going to be even more excited and ecstatic about spreading the news themselves. And I just can't really even put into words like how exciting this is for us. Um, it's just really like, I'm so proud of CoverGirl for doing this. And I think it's amazing that they are one of the very first giant drugstore brands to step forward and say, you know what? We're done with animal testing. So it's just a really, really, really amazing step in the right direction. And one reason why I feel so passionate about this is because um, lots of people say, oh, if the parent company tests, then I'm not going to use a, a sub-brand of that company, even if they're cruelty-free. And I find a flaw in that myself. I actually made a video about this like a little while ago. And if you wanna watch that full video, that's kind of all on that theory of mine, I will link it in the description box below and you can check it out. Um, but it might open your eyes a little bit and maybe it'll change your opinion. Maybe it won't, but at least you'll kind of know everything that's out there and opinions and thoughts and whatever. But my basic thought is that every dollar casts a vote. And even if say L'Oreal owns NYX Cosmetics and NYX Cosmetics doesn't test, but L'Oreal does, if you choose to spend your money on NYX Cosmetics over another non-cruelty free brand that L'Oreal owns, money talks and so when you're spending your money on a brand that is cruelty free you're voting for cruelty free and l'oreal is going to get the message loud and clear when more people are buying nyx over the other brand and we're vocal online about the reasons why and you bet your ass that every time a company that tests on animals um, asks if we can partner i definitely let them know why we can't, um, you know, in as nice of a way as possible. And I always say, I'm like, you know, I've heard a lot about your brand. If you, if you know, whenever you do become cruel, cruelty free or decide to take that step in that direction, I would love to, to help you with that and be a brand advocate and whatnot. But I just make, I just make it clear, like why I can't, you know, why I can't be involved. So I think, that our voices are being heard. The beauty community is finally realizing how awful animal testing is. And this is a giant win for us. Like CoverGirl being cruelty free sends a giant message loud and clear to other brands and other competitors. Like this is the way we're going and get the F out of our way. So. I believe that this is so disruptive that it's really going to be a chain reaction, like a domino effect, if you will. <laughs> like just, it's going to spread like wildfire now that a giant company in the game is doing it and is on board. It's, 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 I mean, I'm going to be using, um, I'm going to be using CoverGirl like crazy now. I just was on Twitter and a bunch of you guys were like, 
are you guys gonna do, are you gonna do a review? And I would absolutely love to do a review. Let's do a full face of something or maybe like your favorite CoverGirl products. Like I would love to hear in the comments below. Maybe you've heard other beauty gurus talk about certain uh, CoverGirl products or you know of some that you would love for me to try. This is the first time in my life that I've been able to use CoverGirl now because they are cruelty free. So I would absolutely love to do a video on some of their products that maybe you yourself haven't used because they haven't been cruelty free, but now they are. So um, once again, I want to encourage you guys to pat them on the back, let them know how amazing this is, tag them and and let them know how excited you are because they need to hear our voices. They need to hear how excited we are. We want to support them in this transition and I want their business to do better because of it, not worse. So let's make that happen. And I'm just so excited and grateful that they've chosen to be cruelty free. I'm trying not to like cry. It's kind of weird. I'm just like really emotional about cruelty free stuff. So, um, very, very exciting. And I wanted to be one of the first on YouTube to let you guys know, uh, I don't even know how to end this video. I'm just really excited. So Kristen out. Thanks for watching.